What's up Scentsy fans? It's Patricia and today I have a Scentsy Fall Haul for you. So let's get into it. I have my case cutter. So this box has pods, it has bars, a few little odds and ends, no warmers. I'm trying to figure out if I need or want any more warmers. I'm trying to be good. I was gonna get the Aziza and I'm thinking I'm gonna wait for a bit. I have to kind of figure out my warmer situation. Just one second. Okay, we're like five seconds in and it's already a mess in my room. But that's okay. <laughs> that's what hauls are about. So the reason we like to share hauls with people is because it's fun. Who doesn't like to see what everybody's picking up? But it's a good way to talk about products. It's a good way to see what people are grabbing. Now, I believe there are three orders, mine and two other customers. So let's get into it. The first thing I picked up was the all-purpose cleaner concentrate in vanilla mint. I love vanilla mint, and so I'm thinking to myself, yes. Because this actually makes six bottles the same size as the counter clean. You actually use this one part of this to three parts water and six bottles. So you can't go wrong. And if you get it on a party, you can get it half off or as part of your party credits. Kind of a no-brainer. All right, let's talk car bars. I don't buy a lot of car bars, but I thought to myself, we're gonna get some. <laughs> uh, yes, the first one I have here is Christmas Cottage. I do like to use car bars in the winter because the Scentsy Go and the Mini Fan Diffuser are somewhat probably hindered by cold weather. It actually says you shouldn't use your Scentsy Go below a certain temperature. I forget what that temperature is, but here in Canada, I'll probably start using car bars in the fall and just kind of progress. But anyway, Christmas Cottage. That has like raspberries and orange and lots and lots of spices. It says cloves, but there's a lot of cinnamon, red, kind of red hot. Cider Mill. This is a really good performing car bar if you're wondering a good one to pick up. This has apples and pumpkin and a nice medley of simmered spices. Really nice. We have pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This one, it smells like a pumpkin cinnabon. Who wouldn't want your car to smell like that? Probably put this one in my car, cashmere and corduroy. This one is really nice. It has Italian bergamot, I believe. And it's got that like, almost like a cozy vanilla base. It's very like musky and warm. Very, very nice. I think I'll get put this in my husband's vehicle, fluffy fleece. He really likes this scent. He says it reminds him of walking through the perfume section of the bay. So there you go. And another kind of wild card. I'm not sure who will get this one, but cozy cardigan. So that is a six pack of car bars. All right, moving on. <laughs> so we have the Travel Twist. This is a new product for Scentsy. It comes in this special case, which I like, because if you don't want to use it, you can put it back in the case. So this is designed for small areas. When I say small areas, I don't mean like a room. What I mean is a small, tiny, contained area, a locker a gym bag, you could probably slide it in the side pocket of your purse, uh, a diaper bag, what else? There's lots of things. You could put it in any of the drawers if you want a little bit of fragrance. If you have a really small little area that you just want little whiffs of fragrance, you could probably try it in like a closet area, but this is small. It's not gonna, <laughs> you know, scent a room. And it's called Travel Twist, so it would be good to bring along with your luggage because sometimes when you go on trips, luggage kind of smells gross, so. Anyway, I picked up Amazon Rain. So here's what it looks like. Now, when I found travel tins, the only travel tins that worked very well for me were the ones that in wax were extremely, extremely strong. And then sometimes they would work in my car if the, if the sun kind of hit it a certain way or any small like linen closet. Some people have said that the travel, oh, excuse me, travel tin liquefied. I've never had that happen. Now, at the most, we'd probably get like high 90s here in Nova Scotia, but uh, yeah, anyway. So travel twist, you twist it open, hence the name. So there, there it is open a little bit. That's closed and all the way is like this. Mmm, smells good. It reminds me of like, um, you know, like one of those thin little sheets they're like super thin and they're kind of brillo-y and you use them to scrub pots and pans like a white one that's been impregnated with a, a like a liquid to make it smell 
Mm, this smells good. I think I'm going to use this, but I'm not sure how. I might bring it to work <laughs> on the days that I can and just kind of use it there when no one's around. All right, I have a, a bunch of pots. These are all for me. Here we go. Christmas Cottage. Good. I already talked about that one. I think I've got two of these. Oh, it's ironic. I just grabbed them. Two Cozy Cardigan. If I pick up two, it's because I'm going to use it in Drew's room. So Drew has a wall fan diffuser in his room and also the bathroom. And I usually put two pods in each. And I usually use my pods a lot on the days I go to work. Because I like to come home and have a little bit of fragrance. I don't usually put my warmers on when I go to work. But I, I let them go all day and they, they run with very little energy, which is also a bonus. Winterberry apple tea, can't go wrong. And I do date all my pods now, try to use them up in order. Very Merry Cranberry. This is cranberry with, I think, maybe cedarwood. But the cedarwood, is, it's kind of hidden. It's mostly cranberry. What else do we have? Cider mill. Yep, yep, yep. I should have got more of those. Those are good. Cinnamon bear. Now, I'm not someone that's afraid of cinnamon. I'm, I'm good with cinnamon. And I always think of Melissa. Melissa from YouTube here. She loves cinnamon bear. And, and I feel like cinnamon, with a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people don't like cinnamon, but... I'm one of the people that do, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of love. If you like cinnamon, let me know <laughs> down in the comments below. Maybe you're a bakery cinnamon person, but you don't like the other styles, that's okay. All right, we have dancing sugar plums. There's a tiniest bit of spice and cinnamon in here, but it's, it's a lot of plum, so that's nice. I have a maple apple bourbon. This one's making me a little nervous. Let's, let's, let's hold off on that one. <laughs> Caramel apple craze. This is a little bit nervous for me too, because sometimes the wax is a little intense. Woo, <laughs> it's intense. It's, it's like a caramel apple. So the caramel is very ooey gooey. We have Welcome Home. I really like these in the car. Welcome Homes are really, really nice scent in the car because it doesn't perform the greatest for me in wax in my home, but I like to enjoy it in the pods, in the car bar. I have a room spray. There's other ways you can enjoy it. So that is good. It's such an awesome scent. It's just, I need a little stronger. Uh, Autumn Hearth. It's funny, if you're not sure how to pronounce this, you know how, how I always remember? Hearth rhymes with Garth, like Garth Brooks. <laughs> Autumn Hearth. Anyway, I picture Garth Brooks when I... <laughs> my mom loves this, and I, I picture Garth Brooks, so that's what's going through my mind. Yeah, and Garth must like cinnamon, because there's a lot of cinnamon in here. There's some warmth from, like, apples and tonka. Yes. So let's smell at maple apple bourbon. I don't know what possessed me to get this because I'm usually someone that's a little nervous maple, but, and it's funny when you get your testers, if you're a consultant, you can smell maple apple bourbon, like come, like it hasn't even, you haven't even opened the tester. It's all the testers together and you can usually smell that one. Yeah, it smells, it smells less maple intense here. Hmm, this is really good. I like it, see, you shouldn't shy away from something. It's always good to try new things. So there we go, 12 pods. I will get working on those. And we have another box right here. So usually when you get another box, that's the box that has the wax. So when you have more boxes, you have more wrapping. So I'll just pause the video for just a second. I have, uh, <laughs> I have picked up the travel twist container that went flying. It's going to take me a long time to not call that the travel tin. All right, we have a bag left. Let, let us grab and go. We have pumpkin roll. Love this. It's like a yellow cake and you bake that into a thin sheet pan. You put like your, you know, cream cheese, mascarpone, whatever kind of filling you're going to use. It has some nuts and buttery smells and cinnamon. And then you roll it up and you sprinkle it with uh, powdered sugar. <laughs> this is really nice also mixed with winterberry apple tea. Also honey pear cider too. I like both of those mixes. Apple cherry strudel. This has Granny Smith apple and cherry, probably the nicest combination of those two things that Sensi has put out. And it's got a little bit of a vanilla drizzle type of tone. And some people get crust, some people don't. I actually don't get a lot out of this scent, but I always like to have some on hand. Smells good. Um, I just can't smell the greatest warming, and which is odd. But I'm actually gonna try, I've been hearing some people do this mix, and I should have two of these, but 
graham cracker crunch. So I'm gonna mix it with graham cracker crunch and see if I can kind of smell it that way. Cause graham cracker crunch is a nice mixer. It's nice on its own. Oh my gosh, I can smell the peanut butter way more <laughs> than normal. Okay, so uh, if you don't know this about me, I am a peanut butter fanatic. I love it. A few months ago, I feel like it was a few months ago, I got a notice from my grocery store that said that the peanut butter that I like to buy had a salmonella like thread or you know, it incident and that I purchased a product that <laughs> was contained with the lot numbers. Well, guess what? Because I love peanut butter, I had already eaten the peanut butter, so I'm, I'm assuming I'm okay. But it's been months since I had my peanut butter. I just got my peanut butter back yesterday, so I'm all excited. Anyway, moving on, clove and cinnamon. This is basically lots of clove and a little bit of cinnamon, and it's a good performer. It lasts a long time for me. Yes. So there we go. That is a good one. It's been around for a long time, but you have to like spices. Winterberry apple tea. This is basically cranberry and apple and tea and honey. Yes, this is, most people love this one. So if you're, if you're trying to decide what to get for someone and you don't know, this would be a good choice. Good performer. Well loved. Harvest blessings. I don't remember what's in this. Probably like apple, pumpkin, and maybe oak and spices. I find this smells like Yankee Candles Harvest and Harvest to me has a lot of cinnamon. So I'm getting a lot of cinnamon here from when I warmed it before. Now this is a special one and this is not for me, but two of my locals have picked this up. And I just want to say the scent of the month sticker is still on this. Fairy tale pumpkin. And it almost looks like the, I don't know if you can see, the, the white part of the label is almost like a pinky blue. That's very odd. Anyway, one for one customer, one for another. They happen to be friends. So this one has, I think, it has something like midnight black raspberry. And it's got the, the anise or black licorice kind of tone. Yeah. I'm okay with this. I wouldn't buy it. But if someone gave it to me, I'd warm it and move on. So that is that. Very Merry Cranberry. I already talked about that one. Cranberries and like red berries, cranberries, a tiny bit of tree. The tree I think is um, maybe a cedar or an oak. I don't think I could differentiate. I'm gonna say maybe oak, but, but that's a guess. We'll put down below and see if I got it right. Fluffy fleece. This one has black currant and it has like a musk, a cozy musk and heliotrope. Heliotrope I think is what makes this like powdery and airy as well as the musk. Be Mary. This one has cassis and pine and holly. Yeah, this is a very good, like, what else should I give somebody? I want them to have something that smells like the holiday time. I don't know their preferences. Most people are probably gonna be okay with this. So there you go, Be Mary. This is a well-loved one. I always get compliments when I warm this cider mill. I'm just gonna smell the wax. Oh, so, so good. If you have, just kind of gotten into Scentsy or you started last season and this is your first fall and winter, you definitely want to add a cider mill to your order list. If you're spice nervous, I get spices, but a lot of people don't get spices. So it's one of those ones that's not going to be, you know, ultra present with spice, but it's so nice. You should definitely pick it up and give it a try. First day of fall. This one has a bit more spices. It's got a little bit of earthiness. So there's some nutmeg in here. Almost like some autumnal air. Yeah, this is a very nice scent. Um, it's not... Some of the, the scent notes and the, the smell combined can be a little bit... Not intense, but, but because the wax warms at like a medium level, it, it's tolerable. So if you, some of those notes scare you, I'd definitely give this a try. If you, if you like cider mill, or not cider mill, cedar cider... Give this one a try. It's definitely different, but I feel like they're kind of, they live on the same street. <laughs> so there you go. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, we have a bakery pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Now I will tell you, these ones often discolor very quickly. Oh, who cares? <laughs> it's awesome. Salted caramel toffee. I'm working on a brick of this right now. And I keep thinking to myself, I'm so happy this is a brick because it's such, well, it's not available as a brick, but I'm happy I have it. And I'm happy it's in the catalog because it's so nice. If you want to switch things up, you could just add half a cube of this to something. Switch it up, warm it up a little bit. Anyway, 
It's nice to have that as an option that you can just throw in. It's basically salted caramel, toffee, and butterscotch. Oh, we have two autumn sunsets, but one of them is very dirty. Can you see the problem? <laughs> oh, I wonder what made it so dirty. Anyway, if I can't get it all off, I probably have a bar I can substitute. Anyway, Autumn Sunset is a top 10 fragrance according to the scent notes, which they were probably written a long time ago. But this one does sell well. It's it's almost like a like those potpourri, like cinnamon stick. And they say, I think there's like, to me, it smells like a fall potpourri scent. It's strong and intense and it's traditional. So cinnamon buttercream. This is a, a returnee from last year as a new release last year, second year in. Yeah, it's like a, it's a slightly creamy, slightly bakery mixer. And you can warm it on its own, obviously. But cinnamon buttercream, if you like that scent, sweet cream spice from years ago, this is a little bit of a different spin on that. So there you go. We have baked apple pie. This one, it doesn't do the greatest in my home. It's just a medium to a medium light, depending on where I warm it. But I've only ever warmed it in a brick and, and, and tester. So I might eventually give a bar a try once my brick is gone. My brick is very, very sweaty. And I do try to store my bar. I don't get a lot of sweatiness with the bars, but sometimes certain bricks seem to sweat each season. Perfect Peppermint. This is basically pure peppermint. It's a nice, beautiful white wax. This is an, up another scent that if you just want to switch things up in the winter, you could throw this in. Throw a little bit of peppermint, a cube or a half a cube or something. Um, one thing I would say on a really, really hot, hot summer day, peppermint is really, really nice. So even if you're a seasonal melter, sometimes you get to think outside the box and say, oh yeah, I can see that would be kind of cooling. Here we have another first day of fall. We have a vanilla cinnamon maple. This one, it just has some maple and some wood things on the package. I like this one. This one's really, really grown on me since last year. I warmed it for the brick review and then I warmed it for Chester Tuesday and I was like, oh, <laughs> so yummy. So I'm, I'm excited to have this. I have more bricks, but it's always good to smell. I love smelling things. We have farm stand pumpkin. I feel like the packaging is really vibrant on this this year. So this one has, has pumpkin and it has caramel and spices and apple, but I always just get pumpkin and caramel. So let's see. Yeah, that's what I get. I don't get any spice, like none, zilch. I, I don't think, like maybe the tiniest hint on the bottom. Yeah, I can I can smell a little bit of spice on the bottom, but more caramelly, pumpkin-y mixture on the top. Here's another graham cracker crunch. Both, oh, let me smell this. Let me smell if this one's also peanut butter heavy. Yeah, it's very nutty. This one is like, <laughs> she's fresh. She's fresh. All right, actually, let me see if I can see a pour date. People always say, how can you see a pour date? So you open the clam and usually it'll run along here. It could be the other way. And it's not something that, it's not gonna be colored. It's it's etched in the plastic and it's there's usually like a mixture of medley of numbers and letters that are probably the batch number. And under that is the pour date, which I cannot see anything here. So sometimes I just don't think you can see them. Sometimes I, I'm not sure if they're there. <laughs> I don't know. Here we have another salted caramel toffee and another perfect peppermint. So there you go. That's my haul. Don't forget coming up, we have the Harvest Collection launching September 1st and clearance should be updating the on the 22nd, which is Monday. So stay tuned for that. Be ready because it's going to be popular. Usually clearance updates almost tend to be like little mini flash sales because everybody kind of jumps on at once. So I believe the queue will be in place. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.